Today's video will be summarized by three word. Wing, X32, Dante. How's it going everybody? My name is Guillaume and if you don't know me, I'm a sound engineer to talk about uh, basically anything that has to do with live sounds. And today I'm putting my hands on something that I've waited for a long time for and that's this. This is a Dente card for the X32. I had a couple of Dente cards for my wing and after try a lot of stuff like uh, the internal, the external, I end up with just using an internal card into my console and leaving the uh, card of the wing, uh, the default one, the W Live Rec one. And because of that, because I have the option to go Dente with uh, the wing, I decided to maybe move over uh, to Dente with my X32 too. The reason is a lot of band that I'm working with use Backtrack and recently we had a couple problem where uh, the USB fallout of the X32 core. So it's in the back of the rack. There's a lot of stuff happening. I'm usually putting that on a drum riser. So just a USB, a non-locking connector, uh, give me a little trouble. So I said, you know what? Uh, let's see if I find something really cheap on eBay, which I did. Uh, and I found that card that we're gonna discover together. So. We got this lovely box packed with the original box. We have a paperwork, a lovely anti-static bag, and that Dante card. So everything seems to be legit here. Don't want to say to people on eBay scam each other, but let's just say it happened to me. More on that on the upcoming video. So that's the card that I'm going to install in my X32 rack. And we're going to link uh, this wing under this road case with my rack upstairs and see just if I can make the device talk to each other. Uh, and if so, I will be able to run uh, redundancy if uh, this is something that matters to you. Redundancy over uh, the network using my X32 as a gain control for my DL251 for preamp. If you ever wanna go that route, that absolutely run uh, redundancy. You can do exactly what I did. Using an X32, you just send out the signal uh, AS50 in there and then the card out to front of house. It could be, you, you could run a Yamaha console if you ever want to or any other device that can be uh, connected over Dente. Once it's connected to the back of the console, I also added an extra cable connected to my computer so I can do a quick check on the firmware of the card and also check if a card is detected, if the patch is happening, if I can connect all my device together. But with that done, the update done, I can just patch from Dante from my console. Make sure that on your X32 you are sending your preamp from AS50A to your card, which will be your Dente card. And from there you can grab the signal basically anywhere on your Dente network to a computer, to a console, or any other Dente enable device. I hope you're gonna find this video helpful. Make sure to subscribe, ring the bell, like the video. You know, YouTube stuff. Until the next one, I want you to please take care of yourself. I'll see you guys later.